Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss what is OpenGL. So OpenGL, if we Google, let's have a look at the definition that we get from Google. OpenGL, Open Graphics Library is a cross-language, cross-platform application programming interface for rendering 2D and 3D vector graphics. The API is typically used to interact with a graphics processor unit, also known as a GPU, you know, a graphics card, to achieve hardware accelerated rendering. That just means the rendering is done on physical hardware instead of software on the CPU. Okay, so that's Sora begins to explain it, saying it's an API, which is basically a collection of you know functions or functionality to you know render and draw stuff, and you get different versions of it. But I think one of the misconceptions is the, uh, regarding OpenGL is that it's almost something tangible that you can get hold of which isn't really the case so if for example like we've got GLFW here so GLFW like oops, let's move on that's a bit too fast then GLFW like SDL or SFML is a library that allows you to draw a render window you know basically you know, a window like this where you can draw objects to it allows you to get input such as keyboard and mouse input allows you to do timing through clock uh, systems that sort of stuff like GFW, i can go to the website and i can go to download and it will let me download the source code so i'll actually get physical you know code i'll get header files i'll get source files and I can set that up in a project to code OpenGL and something like Unreal Engine. So if I Google Unreal Engine, this is obviously a very popular engine for making games. And again, this is something that I can literally download. This has code with it and I believe it is open source now or like the code you can modify I'm pretty sure you can even with the creators license and this also has a physical interface but it can be downloaded but what happens if we go to the OpenGL website uh, exactly right here and there is a download button but let's have a look at what we get when we click the download button takes us to this website so Kronos is the consortium so that's another important distinction so Kronos that manages OpenGL and also Vulkan as well is a consortium of several companies you know ranging from AMD, Intel, Sony, Apple and you know a bunch of other big tech companies so we're on this download an OpenGL but if you read this this is very interesting in all three major desktop platforms Linux, Mac OS and Windows OpenGL more or less comes with the system. However, you will need to ensure that you have downloaded and installed a recent driver for your graphics hardware. So I think this is an important little bit that I think there's either a lot of misinformation online or people don't quite understand what it, you know, what OpenGL is. So it says more or less comes with the system. So let me go a step further and explain what OpenGL is. OpenGL is Yes, it's an API, but more specifically, it's a specification of how to draw and render stuff. So Windows, Linux, and Mac OS implement that specification and they call it Mac, I mean, they call it OpenGL. So you have OpenGL 1.0, you have different versions. So I'm gonna keep it simple, just say 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. There are intermediary versions as well, like 3.1, 4.5, you know, that sort of stuff. I'm gonna keep it simple, so one, two, three, and four. If, you know, Windows says that it supports OpenGL 3.0, what that actually means, it doesn't mean they've downloaded the source code from the OpenGL website and coupled in, they've, implemented code that adheres to the specification of OpenGL 3.0 in terms of the way their OS interacts with the hardware. That would be different for Linux. Yes, Linux may support OpenGL 3.0, it does, but the way that you know interacts with hardware and devices will be different to the way Windows does. So when they say they have OpenGL 3.0, it doesn't mean he has the same thing as Windows, it just means it's adhered to the specification laid out by OpenGL 3.0, which means it essentially follows that same system. So it isn't actually, you know, something that you can download. So we're at this, you know, website, 
to download stuff. But this isn't downloading OpenGL. This is just basically downloading drivers for our graphics card. So with an AMD graphics card, like a Radeon graphics card or an NVIDIA graphics card with the latest RTX series, you now like 2070, 2080, 2080 Super, 2080 Ti. And if you have one of those graphics cards and you download the latest drivers, you'll get the latest OpenGL version that is supported with your OS and with those with your hardware as well. So that's basically what OpenGL is. It's a specification, not you know necessarily a bunch of code that you can download. It's been implemented in code form on the different OSs to adhere to that specification. So like another common question I've had on my OpenGL programming tutorials is from people that I think have slightly older computers and they're trying to play a particular game. So not bad development, but they're trying to play a particular game. And that game gives some sort of error like OpenGL 4 is required, for example. And they might only have, like their hardware might only support OpenGL 3. So they asked me, where can I download OpenGL 4? But the reality is, if you are getting that error or something like it, you probably cannot support OpenGL 4 on your computer. The only way to make sure is update your graphics drivers. They could be, you know, discrete graphics card like Nvidia and AMD, or it could be something a bit more integrated like Intel. And actually AMD have inter integrated graphics cards as well in some of their CPUs. But whatever it is, just make sure it's up to date. And if you still get the error, then it just means your hardware along with the OS and uh, actually no it's your hardware that does not support that particular OpenGL version uh, yes you get you know ever since like in the introduction of 3.0 OpenGL had the modern pipeline system instead of the old fixed pipeline and I believe it was 3.2 where they deprecated the fixed pipeline I think 3.3 they removed the fixed pipeline anyway for in favor of the new you know modifiable you know graphics pipeline which is a lot better but again it's still the same principle OpenGL is a specification not a piece of source code that you can download it's been implemented and when Windows says they support OpenGL 4.5 for example on this graphics hardware it just means if you have a particular set of hardware like a particular graphics card you have a particular version you know for their drivers they've implemented code that adheres to that specification. Now, I just wanted to cover that. I think there's a lot of misinformation about it, and I think a lot of people don't know. Plus, find on a lot of like 3D graphics or advanced rendering courses that you learn at university or college in America. They don't they don't specifically go over the fact that it is a specification and that you cannot really download it. You know, I did a game programming course. We never it was that was never really covered. So yeah, thanks for watching. If this video helped, let me know. It's slightly different to the stuff that I usually do. Still, you know, in line with that sort of coding theme, but let me know and I'll be happy to do more like this. You know, feel free to give me feedback if you didn't like, if you hated my voice, if you hated this or that, you know, just let me know. Love all the comments. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.